I'm just having a lot of fun with this Nano QX. And right now I have an 808 number 16 camera strapped to its belly. Full weight, 17 gram cam. Uh, stock battery in the quad. And I'm going to see if it even has a half chance of lifting all of that. I don't really think it will. But you'll never know if you don't try. So, here goes, Nano QX. Well, okay, that was full throttle, and it had the ability to lift itself up into a ground effect, and that was it. Well, I tried uh, putting 808 number 16 under the Nano QX to see if it could lift it. I, of course, you know, it was just for laughs because I didn't expect that it would lift its own weight. Yeah, it did get in a ground effect, but that was all the farther it got. So now I have a nickel strapped under it. So we're going to see how it handles a 5 gram payload, which is probably a little more realistic. It's still a pretty healthy payload for, I think this thing only weighs 17 grams or so. Well, let's see how it deals with, uh, with 5 grams hanging under its belly. It's off the ground at, it's off the ground at 2 thirds throttle and in the air at uh, three quarter stick. Uh, it handles the payload quite fine. Of course, I'm in stability mode, which is where I'll stay carrying this load. Wow. Let's see about punch out. There's vertical performance with a 5 gram payload. Let's see about faster flight. Wow. Still got pretty good authority, even in the wind. Does pretty good maneuvers. Wow, this thing handles five grams without any trouble at all. So for anybody that, you know, and there's a good, there's a good wind blowing. As you can see, I think uh, the weight actually makes it a little bit more stable in the wind, slightly. But uh, the battery's already getting low, I can feel that. So we're going to bring it in. And there is the Nano QX carrying a 5 gram payload and a pretty stiff breeze. I'm going to up it to uh, 7.5 grams, which I think is about the weight of a decased 808 camera. We'll see what happens. Okay, now we've got. Last test was with five grams of payload. Now we've got seven grams of payload under the seven and a half grams of payload under the belly. And that's not too far away from 50% of this thing's all up weight. So let's find out. It did very well with five grams. Get a fresh battery in. Let's see how it does with this much weight. Yeah. Two thirds stick to lift off, three quarters stick to hover. And it can still it can still fly quite well 
with seven and a half grams. So I believe that's about the weight of a stripped down 808 cam. And I think there are a couple of really small 5.8 gig FPV camera slash transmitter systems that are in that range of weight. So, it doesn't have uh, too much of a trouble dealing with this weight. In fact, it actually seems to make it a little bit smoother in, in, the, in turbulence. Uh, yeah, this thing, that was all it could handle though. It got a little bit much for it. Let's try it one more time. Kind of stall the rotors out. It takes a lot of stick to, to fly. Just but the fact that it can do it. Even in a wind. So this thing could be definitely could be FPV capable if you find the right uh, transmitter for it. Great transmitter and camera setup for it. Oh, well, there you go. Nano quad carrying seven and a half gram payload in a pretty stiff breeze. <laughs>